Oh shit, what is going on? Ubisoft just teased a new Far Cry title looking at this tweet from Ubisoft UK where they talk about the next Far Cry. It will be revealed at the Game Awards just like many other games that are already confirmed and I want to talk about some rumors for potential things that will show up as well. So let's get into it. If you enjoy that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. If you have been following the channel for a while, then you know that I covered a lot of Far Cry 5. I really enjoyed the game, did all the live events, made videos about it. It covered all the DLCs. It's really one of my favorite games of 2018 for sure. So having more Far Cry to look forward to is really, really awesome. And well, that seems to be the case with a reveal planned for the Game Awards on December 6th at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time and 8.30 p.m. East Coast time. So really early here in the UK and Europe, like you're not awake at that time. But of course all the trailers and info will be posted on YouTube as well, so you can watch it after the fact as well. And one of the trailers will be for the next Far Cry, like already, because Far Cry 5 of course released back in March 2018. So are we already going to see Far Cry 6 or maybe a spin-off title? We of course had Far Cry Primal before as well. And I think we're looking at a 2019 release date, so maybe late 2019 for all we know. But it's still interesting that they chose to announce it right now. So in the teaser that I already looped here, you see something that looked like the Far Cry 5 ending. Because if you're not familiar, at the end of Far Cry 5 the bombs went off and you were trying to escape to one of the bunkers the cult already prepared for this moment. But yeah, what happened after that was never clear. And we might see that in this next Far Cry game with the world like changing after the bombs and someone picking up this blade in a sort of deserty area with the flowers using it on what looks like a new weapon we might be able to use in the game as well. So very likely this set after Far Cry 5 and that would be a very interesting setting for sure. And that's really like all the news we have right now. We know also that it's coming to the PS4, Xbox One and PC. But that's not really a surprise. But again the full reveal is already on December 6th at the Game Awards. And I will be really all over it. So when we have more news about it I will of course let you know here on the channel. Also interesting I saw this earlier this week. A German retailer MediaMarkt put up a new Ubisoft game called Bowmore for 45 euro for a February 15th release date. So if this is related to this new Far Cry title, game, expansion, whatever it will be, that would be insane. That would be insane. I find it hard to believe, but it still was interesting that it showed up like this week. That Mania Mark, by the way, also put up a listing for an Assassin's Creed compilation for the Nintendo Switch for a release on March 29th. So maybe that is also a Game Awards announcement. Again, the show is on December 6th at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time, 8.30 p.m. East Coast and like really early in Europe and the UK. And I will have all the info here. And if they're really going for a post-apocalyptic setting with this new Far Cry game, then we might see two similar games at the show because Rage 2 from Bethesda also was already announced to be there. So that's of course also a game with crazy guns in a post-apocalyptic setting, deserty area. Might be similar to this new Far Cry game, but again, we will find out soon enough. So the Game Awards are shaping up to be huge in terms of game reveals and new trailers and we got some rumors and also confirmation of games that will already be there as well. Like the Gearbox CEO Randy Pitchford has been tweeting a lot of tweets with the number 3 and we of course assume that their next project is Borderlands 3. And I really can't wait for that game and it makes sense that they are working on it and are ready to show it because 2K Games of course the publisher delayed one big game from their popular franchise out of this fiscal year into the next one so now this new game from a big 2k franchise will launch between April 2019 and March 2020 well first it was supposed to hit before April 2019 so yeah very high chance that that is Borderlands 3 so an announcement right now would totally make sense it could also be that we get a new Avengers game project trailer Crystal Dynamics the team behind the first Tomb Raider reboot and also Rise of the Tomb Raider have been hard at work on this probably co-op Avengers game so since the release of Rise of the Tomb Raider in 2015 they started this project so you would think they have something ready to show right now well the Game Awards 
Lance Link came with the Russo brothers, the directors of the Avengers film, who will namely be at the Game Awards to present something, so likely give away one of the prizes, but maybe also showcase a new trailer for this Avengers game. Like the trailer we see here, it's all we get at the moment. And now Daniel R on Twitter, who seems to be in the know regarding the upcoming superhero trailers, says that the Game Awards is where we will likely get a new look at this game. He was right about Captain Marvel getting a new trailer this week, so we will have to wait and see. Would be huge, of course, to finally see some gameplay, hopefully, or at least just another look at this pretty promising game. Anthem will also show a new trailer that should tell us more about the story of Bioware's game. Really looking forward to that one, by the way. We'll be doing videos on it. And Dragon Age 4 is also rumored to be there. In a blog post, Bioware noted that we should expect news on the game this month and the Game Awards is really the only logical option if you want a lot of eyes on that new thing or trailer what you're gonna show. So while we might see something new at the Game Awards, the game should be far away though. Rumors suggest that we will likely see it until at least least 2021 so they are likely announcing it to get us hyped for the Bioware brand again I think and to also show that Anthem does not mean that Bioware will only make online RPGs moving forward but also their more traditional RPGs they are known for. The next Obsidian game will also be at the Game Awards but this is pre the Microsoft deal because the studio is of course now owned by Microsoft but this game was in development before that. So this game should still be available on multiple consoles. You can know Obsidian from South Park The Stick of Truth, Fallout New Vegas to name a few. So we can expect this to be an RPG, a space RPG of some sorts. It will be part of the Take-Two Interactive Private Division publishing label and that should be for smaller projects than big AAA ones. It could be that we see Mortal Kombat 11. It was confirmed by the voice actors recently and they also said that the game was supposed to be at E3 but that they could not get the builds to work. So then the Game Awards is a pretty nice place to then announce your game. Maybe have an April release date, May, as we saw with Mortal Kombat X as well. I can totally see that happen. Dauntless teased something. This is an MMO Monster Hunter style game that was first announced at the Game Awards two years ago for the PC. But they have been teasing some sort of presence, so maybe they will announce a console release. That could be pretty interesting. Rumors suggest that we might get a Crash Team Racing announcement we got IGN receiving this tease with the orange dices you would hang on your car and with the text sliding into the Game Awards on 6-12. Of course, the date that this show will be held. Would be pretty huge, of course, as well. And that was likely a PSX announcement. I would imagine, of course, the PlayStation sort of show that Sony does every year, except for this year. So... They now moved it likely to the Game Awards. Just my speculation here. We got a new trailer for Ancestors coming up at the Game Awards with more gameplay on the GameSpot stream after the Game Awards. Your boy Joseph Varus will be there. He of course stole the show last year with his performance. Look, this is this is kind of insane. Like we're here, we're serving this. Look, the Oscars should themselves up this is the shit i'm telling you this is this is the real shit fortnite will have a presence although the new mode was already leaked by a youtuber and now officially announced is the creation mode so kind of like a minecraft style mode inside fortnite where you can create your own island not sure if they will announce something else at the Game Awards as well. Nintendo will of course have a presence there as well. They already tweeted, go watch the Game Awards. And rumors are that we get a Metroid trailer, so Metroid Prime 4. And also the announcement of a Metroid Prime trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. But maybe we'll see more. Last year they went pretty big with the Zelda DLC that released after the show as well. We also know that some people will not be there. We know that Rocksteady from the Batman Arkham games will not be there and that they are hard at work on something that is not Superman. Rumor suggests that it will be about a group. So maybe a DC group, Suicide Squad, the DC Titans. We will have to wait and see. It looks like Warner Bros. Montreal is by the way working on a new Batman game. They made Arkham Origins and seem to be making a new one. But they will also not be at the Game Awards. Just like Naughty Duck as confirmed on Twitter. While they will be in the audience but not show The Last of Us Part 2. Still hope we see something from an upcoming PS4 exclusive though. Looking at you Sucker Punch. Ghost of Tsushima, anyone? I really think it's time that we learn more about that game. Although I think a Dreams beta, out, I mean that's still coming this year, an announcement that is out right now is way more likely. And of course a new Death Stranding trailer, 
Seems like a safe bet as we've seen that game multiple times at the Game Awards before. Maybe a new Alien game will be announced. Jeff, the host of the Game Awards, tweeted this in the font that is similar to what we see in the Alien sort of universe with Worlds Will Change. Looks to be linked to the new Far Cry game as well, like the world is changing in the teaser trailer. An Alien Blackout trademark was also recently filed, so maybe that is what we will see at the Game Awards as well. We will not see Cyberpunk 2077 though. The game is likely far away and we will not get a new look at the Game Awards. A CD Projekt Red already confirmed. I think E3 2019 at the Microsoft stage is when we will see that game again. But still though, the Game Awards will be really, really huge. Of course, they will hand out awards to the best game of the year and different categories, but we are of course all really watching for the world premieres, the new trailers and the new game reveals. I really can't wait and we'll cover of course everything Far Cry related and things about other upcoming games here on the channel. It's going to be really cool. So subscribe to stay up to date on everything. Like this video to support the channel. There was a rumor about release dates for PS4 exclusives being at the Game Awards. You can watch that video by clicking on the screen and I will of course speak to you next time. Goodbye.